Okay, well, first of all, the theory that HIV came from monkeys was the result of an accident, an incident of laboratory contamination. In 1985, a group of researchers in Massachusetts said they found an AIDS-like virus in the African green monkey. And that spawned the idea that HIV came from monkeys. N no. In fact, this virus, the AIDS-like virus, actually came from another monkey, a rhesus mock monkey. And originally, rhesus mocks came from India. But um, this rhesus monkey, or actually there were four of them. There were four sick rhesus mock monkeys. And they were residents of the United States. And they lived in another monkey research facility. And all these facilities were developed for, de for breeding monkeys for medical experimentation. Okay, So this truth came out three years later. A group of, gen of Japanese scientists took the HIV that was initially discovered in the African monkey, and they took this other monkey virus, and they compared them, and they were 99% the same as in, in regard to genetic sequence, which is in scientifically within the um, realm of experimental um, accuracy, it's, they're essentially the same. They're essentially identical. Okay? Now, this finding was released in 88, 1988, but basically the scientific community at large didn't notice it. So the HIV origin and prime African primate theory propagated and continues today. But it's fallacy. I believe it's fallacy. I believe it's fallacy. African monkeys are host to a wide range of lentiviruses. Okay? But again, lentiviruses are also found in the United States in domestic animals. Okay? And even far back as 88, it was basically determined or described. Of course, everybody, scientists are people of opinions. So what I say is my opinion. There are other scientists of other opinions. But basically, categorically, all the viruses found in monkeys in Africa, one, do not cause disease or immunodeficiency. And two, they're of a basic genetic character that's different from HIV and this other monkey virus we talked about.